What's up guys, Shane Starnes here, and it seems like more and more these days, everything in my home is smart and can be controlled by my Alexa or my Google Home. That is except for things like my light switches, my TV, my coffee pot, and there's several things that I really still need to convert to smart things, but what's the easiest way to do that? I know this is gonna sound weird, but you can actually add a robot to these things that you can command from your phone or with your Alexa or with your Google Home, and it's gonna actually turn on and off the different things with power buttons in your home. So not just light switches, but your coffee maker, your TV, and anything with a power button. Big shout outs to SwitchBot for sponsoring this video. Let's go ahead and get started. So they did send out a bunch of these little switch bots, which is actually the focus of this video. They also sent out a SwitchBot Hub Mini. You can use this to control things that can be controlled normally with an IR remote. So maybe your device doesn't have a power button, but it can be controlled with an IR remote. A lot of TVs are that way. Some air conditioning and fan units are that way. So that's what the uh, SwitchBot Hub Mini would be for, so that you can still control those things with your phone. But I'm going to set this to the side for now, and we're going to focus on the most interesting part to me, which is a little robot that actually turns on and off your stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and take one of the white ones out of the box. All right. And there is your switch bot. So this comes with the switch bot, which includes the 3M sticky and also the little device that you're going to attach to whatever button you're using or if you're using like a paddle switch for a light switch, you'll connect this part to the light switch to turn on and off your lights. And then you do have a little quick start guide. So you probably noticed that there was a little battery strip that we pulled out. This has a CR2 battery in it and you don't really have to recharge it because it's gonna last you eight months to a year. You can replace the battery if it ever goes dead. Uh, you can just pop off this little hatch here and there's a battery inside there that you can charge. But the fact that you're not having to remove it from your device and charge it all the time is a huge benefit. So now that we have the application open, we're gonna press on the bot. That way it can connect and just like that, it's connected. Wow, that was a whole lot easier than I thought it would be that's actually really insane. Okay, so yeah, that is already connected, wow. Yeah, so anytime you wanna turn something on or off, you can just press the button and that's going to activate the switch and turn your devices on and off. So you can do that from the app. So if you wanna be able to use this uh, with your Google Home or Alexa device, you are gonna to have to use this switch bot hub. So all you have to do here for the SwitchBot Hub is you'll plug it up. It needs to be within 30 meters of your actual SwitchBot. That's going to connect your SwitchBot to the internet, and then you can connect it uh, to your Google Home or Alexa. I'm actually about to go attach this to my coffee pot and see how this works. Uh, this coffee pot here has to warm up in the morning, so I always have to like remember to come in here and turn it on because if not, I'll be headed out the door and I won't be able to brew my cup because it takes you know five minutes for the heating element to warm up. But being able to do this from the bed is actually going to be a game changer. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a shot, see if it works. And just like that, I have a coffee pot that is now heating up. It's pretty cool that my Keurig coffee pot is now a smart device. The other place where the SwitchBot really came in handy is upstairs. We have a hallway and my kids never turn the light off. So being able to put a SwitchBot upstairs on that light switch has been a game changer. So of course I could have went online and spent 40 bucks on a smart switch, but also my electric panel is not very well labeled and those are live wires that you're having to deal with. So I don't know, if you're not an electrician, the SwitchBot is probably a better solution than changing out the actual light switch. It can be a lot safer of a solution. And the fact that it keeps a charge for eight months to a year is just incredible. I'm gonna leave a link to the SwitchBot in the description below. Be sure to go and grab yours today.